Hi, John uh, Wanoa here. Uh, it's 11.23 a.m. today, now, uh, and I'm just having a rest from walking around all over the place, uh, coming up to the police station, Aki, on the 12th. I'm running a little bit late today, I'm just recording every step of the way that I uh, do with this case uh, on 1 bar 61 Cook Street. What actually happens here is that from 12 o'clock the affidavits, the three affidavits that I <coughs> issued oh, served on Aaron Pascoe and also on uh, James um, Pierce Brown and Simon Brett Browntree, uh, the registered landowners of 1 bar 61 Cook Street. I, um, I gave them an opportunity to counterclaim my uh, title to the land, the land itself. Uh, but because they didn't answer, it's put them in a default commercial levy claim contract. Okay, so a contract that they can't get out of. And it attaches the account of what I say to their names, their corporate names in capital, and their company names in capital letters. So I'm going uh, to report it to the police. I'm trying to go and see my old mate in there, because I've got to go up that way to the 101 uh, Vincent Street. That's where the um, uh, prosecutions, police prosecutions are, and the financial um, financial uh, intelligence unit for uh, money laundering and uh, transactions that are fraudulent. So I'm going there because I know they haven't got any jurisdiction to do anything, but I just wanted to asked them to assist me onto the land and to verify that I am the owner on the land. They should have, what's happened here is this. The two policemen, the three policemen that were handling my case, Gary Davy, Detective Inspector, Gary Davy, ex-lawyer, um, okay? like contract lawyer. He, he didn't want to have, have anything to do with it. So that's okay. And that left, because I was writing to him, and he's got all the information, all the um, piles of paperwork. I go through a lot of trouble to send them everything and videos a lot. And also um, Mike Clement, he's the um, he's the um, area district commander of police, like the head of Auckland Central. Uh, unit of the police and so he left all of a sudden and then Aaron Pascoe left all of a sudden in the same week those two took off and left me starting all over again so putting me in um, uh, a worse situation for them because the longer it takes from midday today I'll be charging them and building them an extra trillion pound note on top of every day that goes past that they hold me up in my ship in Admiralty. Okay? We're both talking in Admiralty here of their private business. So I'm arriving, running a private prosecution business uh, and doing cases myself online. As you can see on Facebook, it's real, straight to Britain, that you can do two hour cases from anywhere in the world. So that's why I've got it on site. On Facebook is admissible evidence in that court. So it doesn't matter which country you're in, they do the case. So if someone interferes with that land after midday today, then that constitutes a act of war against our flag of Admiralty. It means that we can put a cordon around the place as an uh, uh, emergency zone or a war zone because 
that becomes a sovereign state. After midday, that's a sovereign state because I put a cordon around it and I'll report that to the police, put it online, that that's what Aaron Pesco did um, down in Puhoy. He put a cordon around the whole place without authority, without jurisdiction to do that. That's why it backfired and the police had to pay out millions to compensate them. So I didn't want him making the same mistake here. I told them to sack him so they got rid of him here. Now I'm left to start all over again because they took the files with them more than likely but I'm hoping they're still in the station here. So I'm going to see my old friend uh, um, Tony Geldenhuis from right back in 2008 with the cases I had in London. Okay, uh, with the ancient treasury, uh, 68 million fraud um, deal that uh, lawyer and, and um, banker did to me. Okay, so I've learnt from that mistake from those fraudsters. I'll catch up with them when I get to London. It won't take long for Scotland Yard to go and get them. So from now on, today, officially on record as being the Auckland Central Police Station is liable. It is liable because they failed to refute my affidavit that I'm the owner on the land down there. In the end you're going to find it's true. If the British were here they would actually go there and take it. Okay, but they are our partners. The British military and the British government are our partners. That's why we have to be there to change of government and check out all the Queen's pedophile and all the fraud people doing private business like the cops here, the police here doing private prosecutions for their own selves. They're getting caught, I've seen it. I've seen it advertised that they're getting caught now, um, um, <clears throat> taking money from the public. That's virtually what they're doing, illegally. So um, uh, I'm going in there just to keep reporting of the fraud. Now, no one's saying anything. No one is actually owning up to it here in the police station because they're covering it all up. That's why it's taken so long, six years, over six years, that they've stymied me and kept me away from that section. I still keep going because they're going to find the whole six years they're going to pay for in the big bill, the 950 million trillion trillion that I've got. Uh, up against the Queen's um, estates uh, and the Vatican, Church of State and the Rothschild banks. Okay, so that's that big one covers all the governments in the world. The 250 countries we're going to with King William Admiralty. Right, so now I'm coming to the police station with an authority of Lord High Admiral, Emperor surrogate King William IV. Me. Okay? I have every right, legal right, to use that title. Because that's why I'm going to England for. I'm standing there in Westminster and barking the tube of the King. Okay? The King's Royal Revenue and his King's Bench Court. I'm going into the courts to claim back all the revenue stolen by the police and by the government of New Zealand, John Key, his name's on the list to seize all his property with Gotham Young. Okay? They won't muck around with the British military. They'll be here on our land blocks at the East Coast when I go. Okay, so I'm hoping that I'll be assisted by a constable or a private or a police prosecutor who knows what I'm talking about. You see, they'll run away and they won't tell anybody what I really am here on these lands, okay, as the landlord here, right? Not Nazi Fatu or Old Arkham. They can't stack up to any of this. When we go to court, they lose. I'll tell you right now. Uh, so, put it this way. If anybody rings the police after midday, and I'm down there at the section with the police, <coughs> the police will go to the, the, the complainer or the complainant. They can't do anything legally now because the matter is closed. The matter is closed at 12 o'clock today. That's why I'm sitting here uh, and the time will tick by 
and from then on they cannot enter into the contract. Anyone who interferes or rings the police or the police turn up there because someone complained, even the owners complained, and if it goes to court they pay for the court to take me to court and I'll finish the lot off and they'll lose more. Okay, so it gets worse when you haven't got jurisdiction. Okay? They might have the law, but they haven't got the sovereignty and the jurisdiction and the constitution of 1835 flag jurisdiction of Admiralty. Okay, so that's all I'm saying today. I'm going to go in there uh, now, and uh, now that I've rested a little bit, because I'm puffing, I don't like to talk when I'm puffing uh, and getting um, all clustered up. So I've been doing a lot of walking around, which is good for me, but you know, they're, they're, they're going to pay for it for all the mucking around. And Simon Roundtree and, and James Brown, they'll pay for me walking around too, but they've been reasonable as much as to receive in the hand the documents of uh, affidavits to counterclaim. And because they did nothing and stay silent, it's all on record as being like what you heard him say. He says, if you go onto the land, don't go by yourself. So he's virtually said to me, it's yours, but do it right. Okay, so that's, that's what I'm saying. I've been very smart to keep the law uh, in place and myself to make sure that no, nothing's out of place or they break the law more than I do. Okay, I'm not there to break any law but to comply with what it says, especially when it comes to international law of contracts and, and commercial liens. They are deadly. They are deadly if you don't know or you're not a constitutional lawyer. And they are, they haven't got their constitution sorted out. They haven't got their sovereignty sorted out. They haven't got a flag sorted out. I'm ready to go in 250 countries right now with the king on my side. I'm going as the king of England, okay? That's why I'm sitting here. I've got no problem. I have no problems having no henchmen around me, or any guards, or, or, or anybody poking around the place. So I'm out and open, and it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's only me, my business, private business, and James Brown and Simon Roundtree, between me and those two, and no one else. No one else. I did tell them I'm taking those tenants. That's up to them. They can take off if they want to when I turn up. But they'll be better off with me on that to remain there, and, um, but I'm seizing the business of uh, James Brown and Sun Roundtree because 2.715 billion is a lot of money to recover from them. They won't have all that much, but I'll get it out of everybody else that's involved. Okay. So today, from midday, he's got a 2.715800 billion bill on his head, the same bill as Doug Rickard Brown. Okay. So today, this is a statement, this is a statement, it's fixed in his account, it's fixed in his corporate business account, and it will come out, I'll write it up, and, and take it down to him, and give him the bill, because that'll be for the British military and Scotland Yard to recover, or a marshal, a marshal, a uh, provo, provo marshal, uh, um, from the court, okay? We can go into any court and do it. In these courts, I can walk in there and do this and sit on the other side of the judge. There's nothing they can do about that, all right? I'm in the king's bench, live, okay? So the other one is this. The trillion pound note on top of the New Zealand police force of 15,000 plus police starts from midday today because by law they did not refute my claim of what I said about them. I accused them of being fraud. I accused them for holding my ship up in Admiralty. I accused them for stopping my business for over six years. I accused them of everything that they've levelled against me to try and put me up. I accused them for tampering with my evidence for my court hearings. 
accused them of uh, loss of business, of not getting their plan and developing it like how I wanted. Accused them of being personal and being uh, and being uh, uh, abrupt out of his jurisdiction over the phone to me and in a letter to me saying not to go on the section. It's not his business to say that to me. It's not the police business to say that to me. And even in his video you can see when he was asked by the attorneys who sent the affidavit, the 165 page affidavit, I asked him, was it the police? It took him a long time to say no, it wasn't. You see, it was him. See what I mean? So he put it, he put the police at risk and they kept them on. They kept them on. It cost the police now because he's interfered and did the same thing to me by telling me, don't go on to the section at 1 bar 61 Cook Street. So I'm picking and accusing him of telling those owners to say the same thing. Tell John, don't go on to section, because you can hear him in the video say that. The owner, don't go on to section, but he added a bit on the end. This is the crucial bit. He added on the end, make sure you take a police car. There lies the closure of my waiting around and eliminating the fraud corrupted police. Okay, that's all I want to say. So, thank you very much. I can go now and down to the police and that's the sort of day we've got today, so cast. Now we're going across there and then I'm going up that way to the prosecutions, the police prosecutions division and the, um, the um, um, intelli intelligence finance intelligence unit okay that's all i want to say thank you very much bye for now john one auckland new zealand it is thursday today the 12th of march 2015 d-day for police uh with the affidavit kicking in and being effective and enforceable today and also aaron pasco uh, today uh enforce uh, affidavit, um, law, and also Simon Roundtree and James Brown. It's enforced from 12 midday today. So I'm just going to check into the police station now. Bye for now. See you later.